In this video, we're going to simplify the expression 7a cubed times 2a to the 4th cubed. As we're simplifying using our exponent properties, we keep in mind order of operations as a guide to help us decide which part of the problem to do first. In several cases, it, the order of operations is a, just a suggestion, and there are several ways to get to the same correct answer. However, if you're unsure, order of operations will always keep you safe and always prevent you from violating some other rule without intending to. Order of operations tells us to simplify what we can inside the parentheses first. We can't do any simplifying with 2a to the 4th, so we'll move on to the next step, which is exponents, or our power rules. We have an exponent of 3 outside the parentheses, which can then go inside the parentheses onto each factor. As we do, we'll multiply exponents. 7a cubed times... Be careful, on the 2, the 2 is a base, not an exponent. We multiply exponents, but not bases. We really have 2 to the 3rd power now, which is 8. On the a, though, we do multiply, because they're both exponents. 4 times 3 is 12. After doing the exponents, order of operations tells us to do the multiplication and division. We are now ready to multiply. 7 times 8 is 56. And on the a's, when we have two a's multiplied together, we will add the exponents 3 plus 12, to get 15. And we have our final answer, 56, a to the 15th. We got this solution by working through our exponent properties, using order of operations as a guide on what to do first, second, and third.